Welcome everyone back to Madden 23 Seattle Seahawks franchise. We are back here after we made a bunch of trades and, you know, some people thought that we could have, you know, maybe gotten a little bit more for Tyler Lockett. I think we got a two and a five. Um, DK Metcalf, our number one receiver, Marquise Goodwin, Amari Rogers there. Uh, you know, don't expect too much from Amari Rogers in this first game here. Uh, but do expect, you know, I think this is a great opportunity for Dwayne Eskridge to really uh, start to make some things happen for us. Um, defensively, you know, I think it's going to be a struggle, you know, uh, at least uh, in the quarter in the cornerback department. Uh, yeah, we're not it's not great here. A lot of youth here. Uh, and that's going to be tough. So we come take a look here at our draft capital. We have two ones this year. We have three twos we got one from green bay one from denver and our own we got one three we got a couple we got two fours so my phone goes off it's like a tradition this thing always goes off when i'm doing a video but then take a look at our fifth round picks we have one two three four we have four fifth round picks and uh so we have a lot of draft capital to really make some things happen i think so i think we did well with, with the trades that we made, I think they were semi-realistic. I don't think Tyler Lockett in real life is going to get you a first-round pick. I probably could have got an extra three. I probably could have got a two and a three. Uh, Shelby Harris is going to have a back strain, uh, so I don't think we'll have him uh, for the game. I'm pretty sure usually when one of those injuries pops up, the guy doesn't play. So we're going to be without Shelby Harris. That's going to be rough. And... No one else is hurt. Probably have some upgrades here. We got one upgrade here for DK Metcalf. And uh, so trying to see what to go with here. We're going to go with deep threat because really that's how we're using them right now. Uh, just as sort of that deep threat, uh, big chunk play guy as we try to build out the rest of this offense, which is definitely going to take uh, a, not this season, but definitely next season. We're going to have to try to really do something and, uh, you know, try to build out this offense so we can have more of a consistent rushing attack so taking on the four and three new york giants the giants have a better record than us so yeah and our overall is down as well so let's get into this game the one and three seahawks look to pick up a victory here after trading away some core pieces they're gonna have to do it against the four and three new york giants here at lumen field in seattle the giants daniel jones trying to prove himself as a quarterback in this league and he has done a decent job so far this season we'll have to see if he uh, sort of stays a new york giant but drew lock has not done a really great job this season seven touchdowns to 10 interceptions 1300 yards getting to stop turning that ball over early on though here's Dwayne eskridge with the trade of tyler lockett to green bay this is going to give a guy like Dwayne Eskridge a lot more playing time and is really going to allow him to really prove himself. Moves him up the depth chart and right there makes a nice play. So now a second and eight. Locke going to find Noah Fant here. Fant in the open field tries sort of running through those guys. Gets shoved out of bounds by Xavier McKinney and Julian Love. But still either way a nice play right here in Seattle. This is one of their better opening drives of the season so far. They don't have too many good drives like this. Here's Marquise Goodwin again, who's been a very nice player for this Seattle team. So now a second and one. Here's Drew Locke and a fine Marquise Goodwin. And that maybe could have been a touchdown if Locke gets that ball out a little bit quicker and allows him to turn up the field. But instead, it's a first and 10 now at the 12. Here's Locke and a fine Eskridge right here in Eskridge. Making some plays here early in this game. So now second and one. Lock and a fire. This is in. Whoa, that was almost. I think that almost was picked off. There's a fumble. But Goodwin able to get on top of the football. So third and eight here. Kayvon Thibodeau ripping that ball out. And then Goodwin able to get on top of it. So now a third and eight. Lock looking. Throws this one. And that's the drag route. And that's going to get picked off. As uh, looks like, the, I'm not sure who, the, Chris Harris Jr. just stiff-armed an offensive lineman. Yeah. So, let's take a look here. Just a, just a late throw, I think, really. Just a poor decision. I just don't think Locke was expecting Harris to play the flat. So, 
Out comes Daniel Jones. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Daniel Jones, little pump fake there at the start. And they're gonna find his man underneath right here. So he gets upended, but that's still, that's probably gonna be good enough for our first down for New York. Brian Dable likes it, second and six. Hand off here, Saquon Barkley cuts it back in the middle of the field, gets brought down by Quandre Diggs right at the 40. So New York driving. So now Daniel Jones gonna find Kenny Galladay underneath right here, gonna pick up the first down and New York is driving here. The Giants marching down the field. Be a handoff here to Saquon. Saquon gonna get brought down at the seven. First and goal coming up here, now second and goal. Here comes Daniel Jones, looks in, that's a touchdown. Jared Cook, can't believe he's still in the league. Still doing it. And the Seahawks, again, you know, they, they've had this happen so many times this season where the, the drive looks like it's going well, and then it's not, and here's Drew Luck. That's going to get picked off. Julian Love picks that one off, and Drew Luck, and more bad news on this play is Charles Cross. He's going to come up with an injury. Like I said, last thing this t Seattle team needs is injuries on this offensive line, holding his wrist. As he goes into the locker room. So now here's Locke. Take a look. We'll take a replay at that one. Again, I just, I don't think he expected that corner to sort of stay with this play. I, I just don't think he thought that. He figured he'll go up the up the sideline with the tight end. And here's the defense not able to get to Daniel Jones. And once again, now the defense can't tackle. This is just... a really a disaster right here this is like one of those bad air bud movies where guys are tripping all over each other and then here is a nice play right there to kenny galladay as he's sort of ripping up this secondary right now so now daniel jones gonna find galladay again i i think every team moving forward this year is gonna look forward to playing this seattle team the secondary because right now they are just getting torched right here just absolutely mossed right there is Trey Brown by Kenny Galladay of all people? I mean, just I, I, I mean Daniel Jones is out here looking like Aaron Rodgers. I mean, just carving up this defense. There is just Moss completely both feet down. Touchdown, Seattle! Uh, touchdown, New York! So here is Drew Locke here trying to make something happen. Already two interceptions on the day. Going to find Metcalf right there. Lock, 8 for 10, 96 yards, that's good. And then you see two interceptions. And I think just maybe great plays here. He is taking a deep shot here to Metcalf, who comes down with it. Going to be tackled down at the two. Big play right there to Metcalf. Chris Harris Jr. couldn't pick that one off. Metcalf just able to run past him there and catch up to the football. I think if Lock could have maybe, you know... If he had a little bit more juice on that thing, he probably could have shot that thing towards the end zone. So now second goal handoff here. Rashad Penny into the end zone he goes. Rashad Penny with a touchdown here to cut the lead in half. So maybe Seattle can make something happen. Here's Daniel Jones. Going to find his man right there. Picking up the first down. And they are marching again. First and ten. Handoff here. Saquon Barkley. No one near him there and he gets brought down at the 42 is they are now in seattle territory so now first and ten another handoff here to saquon no one can catch up to him again quandre Diggs able to bring him down at the 27 he's almost up to 100 yards rushing on the day it's only the first half and here's saquon again no one touches him as he runs through the tackles right there i mean just just, I mean, just a horrible defensive effort here by the Seattle team today, and that is just terrible. Kadarius Tony, with the touchdown right there, his hair is going through his helmet, and that'll make it 21 to seven. And Seattle, they need to make something happen here quick. Brian Dable looking like a Thanksgiving turkey. So now first and ten, Drew Locke gonna throw this one here, and that's underthrown, and that's gonna be intercepted. Chris Harris Jr. with the pick. His second of the day, Drew Locke's third of the day, and he's not going to get an opportunity to throw any more because after that, he would end up benched here, hit as he throws the ball. The offensive line not really helping, but at the same time, just 
I, I think I think the Seattle team, I think the Seattle coaching staff, I think they've just seen enough here. Still the second quarter. Daniel Jones, first and ten, throws this one to Kenny Galladay, finds a hole in the zone. S- still 56 seconds left with a timeout. But Daniel Jones throws this one here. And Jared Cook tries running out of bounds, wasn't able to. So now they're going to come back here. Still clock running. Surprised they didn't hurry it up. Daniel Jones throws this one again. That's Kadarius Toney, his second receiving touchdown of the day. And that'll make it 28-7. 21-point deficit here. And this offense hasn't shown that they can consistently move the football at all. So no more Drew Locke. Geno Smith continues to sit on the bench. It would be Jacob Eason coming in here in the second half to play some quarterback. He's going to find Dwayne Eskridge here. And Eskridge makes something happen after the play here on a second and 19. Eason here. Just, I think his job is just run the offense. Don't turn the ball over. And uh, we'll see about maybe what's going to happen next week with this quarterback situation here in Seattle. Eason here. And once again, no one really open here. And that was almost picked off. Had a man deep down the field up to see him. But once again, pressure was already getting there. Rashad Penny. And look at that. I mean, just the Giants just swarm right to him. Still picks up the first down, though. And I don't know if you can ask anyone to play a good quarterback uh, with this offensive line situation, really. There's Goodwin again with another catch. Six for ten so far for Eason. So now second and four. Eason again just pressured here. Doesn't even have time to really go through his reads because you just have the pressure coming in. Hitchens with the sack right there. So now third and 16, fourth quarter. Throws this route right here to Eskridge, who's going to get tackled there. Fourth and nine. You're going to have to go for it. You're down 21 points. So now Eason here going to take a deep shot here. Eskridge has the ball in his hands, and he can't hold on to it. Almost a big play right there. Seattle definitely would have needed a big play to try to get back into this one. Here's Saquon Barkley. Going to get brought down at the 27. Already up over 150 yards here, or at 150 at this point. And again, cuts it back. Picks up the first down right there. Now up to 162. So now first and 10. Saquon again with another big run. Spins off of him. Going to be a second and inches here. So now Daniel Jones steps back. Going to find his man. That's Kenny Galladay. That's his second receiving touchdown of the day. So, and that'll be number five, I believe, for Daniel Jones. This is definitely a career game for Daniel Jones, and that would do it. 35-7, to seven. just a terrible, no good, rotten game for the Seattle Seahawks in this one. They didn't even look like they belonged on the field here as the Seahawks season continues to just spiral out of control here. Now you have a quarterback controversy. Daniel Jones, 23 of 29, 228 yards, five touchdowns. Saquon Barkley didn't find the end zone, but he really carried the offense, put him in great field position, 23 carries, 178 yards. Kenny Galladay, seven receptions, 93 yards, and two touchdowns. And then Drew Locke, 9 of 13, 146 yards, three interceptions. Jacob Eason came in. 11-19, 11-19, 100 yards, didn't turn the ball over, almost did a few times, but, you know, that's not going to show up on the stat sheets here. And then Rashad Penny, three carries, 12 yards, and a touchdown. As the Giants defeat the Seahawks, 35-7, to Seahawks fall to 1-7 and on the season, and the Giants, they improved to 5-3, and definitely in the playoff race. We're not in the playoff race. <laughs> oh, boy, that was rough. Uh, yeah. Um... Just wanted to get through that game after those three interceptions. Like, okay, this isn't uh, this isn't gonna go our way here. Ryan Bates, we just signed him. He gets an upgrade here, so we'll give him the agile upgrade here. And uh, yeah, he goes up to a 72 overall, plus one awareness, plus one lead block and run blocking as well. So hey, maybe we can run the ball a little bit better, possibly. I don't know, but Jacob Eason is going to be the starting quarterback. Potentially moving forward, I don't see us signing anyone because there's, like, honestly, uh, they're all worse than Jacob Eason. I think the only other guys on the market are Cam Newton and Nick Foles. We're not going to bring either one of those guys. I'm not going to bring in a vet. So we're going to go through the season with Jacob Eason here to close things out. Still have a good way to go here. So when we come back, the one team that we did, did get a victory against is the Arizona Cardinals. So they're 3-5. and five. 
somehow some way we're still really not out of the playoff pitcher technically because if we can put together like four weeks or so of some hot games and looks like that we could be right in the thick of things in the nfc west because it doesn't like anyone is going to run away with this division so come back for the next episode be sure to hit like be sure to hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace